Thank you so much, uh, Representative. My name is Nomi Carmona. I'm the president and founder of a nonprofit called Base Against Biotech. We're devoted to environmental education and awareness about the impacts of GMOs. We represent over 1,900 members, and we're growing very, very quickly. I just uh, submitted an extensive testimony to you, 19 pages, 234 resources, of which 207 are peer-reviewed scientific studies demonstrating the risks to the environment and our health by eating GMOs. I'm very tired of hearing biotech representatives who are being paid to say there's no scientific evidence, these are harmful. I have given you 207, and the studies they're referring to are paid for by their own industry and their interest groups. Did you know that only 90-day trials are required to release a new GMO product into our food supply? These uh, GMOs have been found in numerous animal studies to show generational effects in the second and third generations that are very serious, including sterility, infertility, endocrine disruption, cancer, cancerous tumors, organ enlargement, uh, problems with protein and cholesterol synthesis, and uh, problems with the kidney, liver, and spleen, as well as the digestive system as well. So we're, <laughs> we're not playing. We have a right to know. And we're tired of asking over and over again when 61 countries already acquired GMO labeling and 29 have banned GMOs in some form or another. The entire European Union. Are we not worthy to know what is in our food? Do you not respect our own choices enough? I don't think it's you personally, but you have an opportunity to advance these measures today. And it's quite pertinent. Over a thousand people marched on the Capitol on opening day on January 16th, demanding GMO labeling and abolishment of the PLD. Not a single person asked that non-GMO food be labeled. Not a single person. We want GMO food labeled. The reliance, this industry, on the fact that we cannot identify their products they have a consistent history of denying the, the dangers of their products and fighting labeling in the name of cost. Pertinent case in the late 70s when chemicals like Monsanto's DDT, PCBs, and vinyl chloride were starting to be proven harmful to people. Chemical companies, including Monsanto, strongly resisted with increased regulation and a massive PR campaign that said it would cost 2 million jobs and have a negative economic impact of $65 billion. After the stronger regulations were enacted, the actual cost turned out to be 5% of their estimate. It had no impact to jobs, and the industry continued to grow. I've attached in my testimony to you a study analysis of uh, four major studies that are independently funded about the cost of GMO labeling and two industry-funded. You can see the industry-funded are greatly over-exaggerated, but if you summarize all of them together, it's about $5 per capita, so $5 per person per year uh, on average to increase that. Vegetarians and vegans alone need to know what is in their food and if it has animal genes. I'll do my best to wrap this up quickly. Um, they've collected themselves with $45 million to fight GMO labor in California. I don't want to hear they don't have the money to tell me <laughs> that GMOs are in my food. Class action lawsuits are starting to pop up across the state. And already 52,000 uh, dead sea urchins have been found off the coast of a pioneer farm in Kauai. So <laughs> the sea urchins are the canary in the coal mine of the ocean. How long are you going to wait? They're the most endangering and invasive species of all, and there, is, there may be no recuperation. We may never be able to grow food on the land they're growing on right now. This is the most pressing issue in Hawaii today. They're irresponsibly releasing highly controversial new life forms of highly questionable ethics in regard to health and environmental safety. They've been exiled from dozens of countries, and the damages are piling up. Without proper labeling, we cannot trace the effects here. Our Hapai mothers should be able to choose whether or not they want to be like the mothers in Canada who had 84% of their fetal blood contaminated with Bt pesticide and 96% of the mother's blood. And can can you start to summarize? Please? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think I've said almost everything I want to say except for families who are struggling with affording food. They may want to consider not donating tens of thousands of dollars to politicians and lobbying efforts. Mahalo. Thank you.